German short-haired pointer Deutsch Gerzar. First and foremost, we'd like to congratulate CJ the German short-haired pointer, and his owner, Valerie, for winning best in show at Westminster 2016. This is an awesome accomplishment for the breed. However, with this remarkable recognition, can come negative consequences. GSPs will be in high demand, and backyard breeders will be intent on breeding. In a few months to a year, many of these pups will be given up to rescue, or worse, because a German short-haired pointer is not suited for the many families that just want one because they fell in love with the breed from watching a show. What people saw at Westminster was the perfect example of what German short-haired pointers are made of, athleticism, grace, intelligence, intensity and energy. CJ's performance surely did not happen naturally, or just because this dog has been in training his since he was a young pup. German short-haired pointers are very intuitive, and very high-energy dogs. To channel that intensity takes a lot of training and patience from a person who is very experienced with the breed. Before going into the video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which we have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart, and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. The GSP at a quick glance. The German short-haired pointer, GSP, is a versatile hunter, capable of high performance in the field and in the water. One of the most energetic breeds, the GSP is a hunting dog by nature. Clever, eager, and willing to please, it is very fond of its human family. Dominance and energy levels vary from puppy to puppy, but those bred for working in high-performance field competitions usually require more activity than the average GSP. However, all GSPs are very high-energy dogs who need a lot of daily mental and physical stimulation. Those who do not get the daily workout they need will literally bounce off the walls. The GSP needs an owner who can provide appropriate, calm, confident, and consistent training. GSPs crave structure, and enjoy having a job to do. If this breed lacks in either exercise or leadership, it can become frustrated, and develop separation anxiety, and possibly become destructive. Due to their strong prey drive, GSPs generally do not do well with cats or other small animals. However, well-adjusted, stable-minded GSPs who receive enough mental and physical activity along with a balance of consistent leadership will get along with other dogs and cats. This breed can be reserved with strangers if not socialized well. Living Conditions This breed is not suited to life in a kennel, and is not recommended for apartment life. GSPs do best with a large yard and an active, athletic family, dedicated to fulfilling the breed's drive to work. The breed is generally good with kids, but caution must be exercised around small children. Due to their eagerness, unintentional injuries from small children being knocked over may occur. Please note, proper introduction of children to any breed, and teaching children appropriate behavior around dogs in general, is essential. Never leave any dog unattended within a young child. GSPs thrive on human interaction, and love their humans very much, sometimes to the point of being a Velcro dog, following your every step around the house. Due to high prey drive, GSPs are sometimes not very cordial with cats and other small animals. They can be trained to leave them alone and share home space, but their hunting instinct may interfere at times. When raised as a puppy with cats and other small animals, such as toy breeds, GSPs often do well. However, caution should always be used with any other small pet companions. GSPs may be able to jump any fence that is lower than 6 feet tall, and some have been known to clear even a 6-foot fence. Under-exercised, bored GSPs are great escape artists. Be prepared for an imperfect lawn to say the least. Even established, thriving grass will be worn to dirt with the GSP's foot traffic. Life expectancy, about 12 to 15 years. Colors. Black, black, and white, black roan, liver, liver, and white, liver roan, white, white, and liver. Markings. Patched, patched, and ticked, ticked. Care. Maintenance of the GSP is minimal compared to many other breeds, but there are still some areas that require attention. The GSP's short, sleek coat requires minimal grooming. Despite its short coat, the GSP does in fact shed. Their dark hair shows up on the light items and their white hairs on the dark articles. Also, due to their short hair length, it can become embedded in some fabrics and carpeting and difficult to vacuum out. Regular brushing as well as the occasional bath will help reduce shedding. They're strong, Fast-growing nails should be trimmed regularly with a nail clipper or nail dremel to avoid overgrowth, splitting and cracking. Because of their folded ears, airflow is often not adequate, 
which can lead to a buildup of wax and debris, which can further result in an infection. Ears should be cleaned with a mild solution, talk with your vet about which solution is best, and the proper method to clean the ears. Teeth should be brushed regularly with a toothbrush and toothpaste formulated for dogs. Because the breed is subject to bloat or torsion, they should not be fed immediately after running or other demanding exercise, nor should they be allowed to run or exercise for at least an hour after eating and drinking. The ideal evening meal time would be after the day's exercising and activities are through for the day. Energy and Exercise GSPs are a very high energy breed. They tend to keep a puppy level of energy throughout most of their lives. GSPs always want to be at the center of things, and are always up for physical activity like running, swimming, organized dog sports, anything that will burn some of their boundless energy while spending outdoors time with a human family member. A bored GSP can be quite mischievous to say the least. This eager breed does best with regular consistent exercise, positive training, and lots of love. Health Like all breeds there may be some health issues, but the majority of German short-haired pointers are healthy dogs. Regular veterinary care and proper feeding are vital to your dog's health. Yearly DHLPP vaccinations, rabies shots, a monthly heartworm and flea-slash-tick preventative regimen, and in many parts of the country a Lyme disease vaccination, should not be neglected. Follow the advice of your veterinarian for shots and monthly preventatives. If you plan to purchase a puppy, be sure to do your research and work with a responsible breeder. Good breeders utilize genetic testing of their dogs to reduce the likelihood of disease in their puppies. Obedience training. A must. If new to the breed, it would be beneficial to work with another individual who is knowledgeable about the breed. The GSP is a quick learner and very eager to please and will work hard for positive reinforcement. They are not generally stubborn, but can at times be quite creative. Due to their high intelligence level, the biggest challenge is to keep them focused and not let them get away with inventing variations to the exercise being taught. Because of their extreme sensitivity to people, the trainer must always be watchful of their own body language and reactions to issues that come up during a training exercise. A calm demeanor, and providing quick, clear rewards for desired behaviors, will enable you to be successful in your training. Not all types of training methods or instructors are right for every dog, no matter what the breed. So be sure to educate yourself, and carefully match your training methods with the personality, characteristics, and needs of your dog. Crate Training as with anything else, do your research on crate training. If introduced properly and in a positive manner, the crate becomes a safe haven and a secure den for the dog. The crate provides a safe place to go when things get too hectic and the dog needs a break. When the dog has to travel, its safe place can come along and the dog will always have its den regardless of the circumstances. And don't forget to check out the free video series that teaches the quick and easy way to an obedient dog, so make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing our channel for more about dog training and dog breeds content every day.